Hey Google, talk to my Echo service. All right, here's the test version of my Echo service. Welcome to Echo service. Say something. Hey Google, do you know anything about cricket? Hey Google, do you know anything about cricket? No, I'm asking you, do you know anything about cricket? No, I'm asking you, do you know anything about cricket? No, 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 you don't repeat me. Just tell me whether you know anything about cricket or not. No, 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 you don't repeat me. Just tell me whether you know anything about cricket or not. Stop. So this is what we are going to do in this tutorial. We are going to make a chatbot or you can say a Google action using Dialogflow, Node.js and using the Node.js as a webhook. So let's see how to do that. So let's first of all uh, have a look at the Node.js service that we are going to consume in our application. So on GitHub, you can find this example where I have created a very small Node.js application which we will deploy at Heroku to consume into our chatboard. Okay, let's see what do we have here. So it's a very simple step-by-step -step demonstration of implementing an Echo service using Webhook. And um, in this example, uh, you can learn how to write an API in Node.js and then how to integrate your Node.js with Dialogflow, which earlier was known as API.ai as Webhook. So you will be more interested in index.js file only. In this file, we are creating a server using Express and then we, are, uh, we have created one service, Echo, which is receiving some information from uh, our chatbot and then its job is to return the same information back to the chatbot. So we will have a look at this uh, in, a, in a while. Let's go back to the readme file and see what do we need to do with this. So we have to deploy this application to Heroku. So here you will find this link to deploy to Heroku. So if you click it, it will open the Heroku portal for you. Um, so let's let's see how to host a new application. So go to the home page and uh, select the name of your repo. Go back to Heroku and select this option new. Create new app. So what should be the name of the app? Okay, say Echo Service uh, New. Okay, Echo Service New. Echo Service New is available. Okay, let's create the app. Now we need to connect it with the GitHub. Select the GitHub option from this link and paste the repo name over here and then click the search button. Okay, here we are. We should click this connect button and it is connected to our Git repo now. Okay, now what do we need to do? We need to deploy this branch. So click this button deploy branch and we want to deploy it from the master branch. Okay, let's do that deploy branch. Okay, okay, it should take only a couple of seconds. Yes, done. So if you want to view it, just click this view button. It will open your app into a new window. So for the time being, we do not have anything running directly from this server. So it is saying cannot get. So that's fine. Absolutely fine. So we can test. We can test whether our service is running fine or not. Now let's go back to index.js file. Let's see what are we doing in this file. So in index.js file, this service echo. What are we doing in this echo service? So in request, we are expecting that in requested body, there should be a, a parameter at result. And within result, there should be another attribute parameters. And within parameters, we are expecting another attribute echo text. So if this is available, then we are going to save its value in a variable speech. Otherwise, we are going to save a default value seems like some problem speak again and this will be saved into this variable speech and then we are going to return 
rest.json and this is what we are going to return speech speech display text speech and source is webhook echo sample now let's test whether this service is working or not so if you go back to the home page to the readme file you will be able to see that i have given a link www.hull it so this is uh, a very nice website where you can which you can use to test your services okay so this is our service this is the name of the service in fact domain and if i copy paste it here and i change it to say post slash echo so if you remember if i go back here and open the index.js file you will be able to see that the name of the service is echo okay let's test whether this service works fine or not i'm not a robot okay launch request and here we are we are getting this response speech seems like some problems speak again same as for display text and source is webhook echo sample so now we know that our service is working fine now comes the second part so let's go back to the readme file and open the dialog flow portal so here we are going to create our chatbot okay select this option now go to console so i already have an account so that's why i'm able to see this dashboard if you don't have any account then create one then from this section from this drop down you can select this option create new agent okay let's create a new agent echo service okay create okay here we are so uh, the agent is created now what we need to do is we have to create a couple of intents so we can see a couple of default intents already available so let's select this uh, default welcome intent first and le let's see what do we have in here so we have some kind of text responses so we don't need these text responses so let's remove these and let's change this one to say welcome to echo service say something so if you are not able to understand a couple of things over here don't worry just follow these steps later on you will be able to connect the dots let's save this intent just like that okay once this is saved go back to intents and create a new intent okay let's give a name to this intent say echo and uh, now now comes the most important part what user is going to say so we know that in this chatbot what our target is actually that whatever user says chatbot should repeat it okay so let's add say text over here and let's give a parameter name here say echo text okay so i'm going to use this name echo text so this is the name of the parameter so if you go back to my service so let's go back to the service index.json so in index.json you will see that this is the parameter name that we are targeting echo text so the same name we are using here as well entity now this is very important so entity if i write say at the rate sys dot so you will be able to see so many different types of entities so it depends whether you want to target um, a date you want to target uh, time you want to target geo capital you want to target color so what you want to extract from the text or from the speech so this entity will help you identifying that particular element from the entire speech so it has a very very smart engine which actually does this job for you so all you have to do is you have to mention what you want to extract from the input so we want to extract all of it 
so there is an option at the rate sys.any so at the rate sys.any means whatever user is saying i just want to consume it as is now if you go back and double tap over text then you will be able to see that what different type of entities are available that we can actually integrate with this uh, this text so this is what we want to do we want to actually associate it with sys.any echo text okay let's select this option so you will be able to see something like this fine let's save it let's save it after you save it let's try to integrate the webhook now to integrate the webhook go to this fulfillment section and in fulfillment section enable webhook and here you have to actually paste the url of your service and we know the url of our service is this right control c let's go back over here and let's put it here fine and let's save it okay it's done now let's go back to our intent let's open this echo intent and let's try to type something say hi and press enter okay it says not available okay let's see what do we have in show json so we can see that uh, we sent result parameters echo text as high so we are sending the right parameters but we have received nothing why so the reason is that we do need to click this fulfillment section and check this use webhook once this is done click save and then try to test it again hi and then enter okay we send user says hi default response hi let's test something else how are you enter how are you how are you okay good we know that the service is working fine and it has been successfully integrated with our chatbot as well now let's see how to test this application using the web simulator and your google home device for that let's go to this integration section select google assistant enable it you will be able to see one of the welcome intent so we don't want to use echo as uh, the welcome intent so we want to use default welcome intent as the welcome intent let's select it and uh, let's test it so if you select this option test Mm, it will activate your test and now you can open your actions simulator before testing it into your action simulator what you can do is you can update the draft as well so if you select this option update draft and you visit the console you can make some changes regarding the app information over here select this option edit and give it a unique name say my echo service and how to pronounce it for that also say my echo service okay then click save and that's it just for testing purpose uh, this is more than enough so you can ignore this and now you can go back to your dialog flow portal and uh, let's close it let's open it again select the test option click the action simulator now okay here we are talk to my echo service let's press enter all right getting the test version of my echo service welcome to echo service say something hi how are you hi how are you i am fine I am fine. You can test it using a Google Home device which you have configured with the same account. Let's test it. Hey Google, talk to my Echo service. All right, here's the test version of my Echo service. Welcome to Echo service. Say something. 
uh, hey Google, do you know who is Virat Kohli? Hey Google, do you know who is Virat Kohli? Who is Sachin Tendulkar? Who is Sachin Tendulkar? Oh, so you know who is Sachin Tendulkar, but you don't know who is Virat Kohli. Oh, so you know who is Sachin Tendulkar, but you don't know who is Virat Kohli. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Stop. Okay, bye bye. Stop. Stop. So if you say stop, then it will stop. So that's it. That was all about how to create a simple chatbot, an echo chatbot using Dialogflow, Node.js, and using Node.js as a webhook. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel. Bye bye.